Hey guys, my name's Dave, this is Custom Spray Mods, and this is my new car. Now it looks great on camera, but it's actually in pretty bad condition. There's swell marks all over it, stone chips, the bumper's cracking. Um, yeah, so I want to make it look good, and I'm going to show you all the videos on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. But for now, I'm going to paint the brake rotors and the brake calipers, because they look completely shit. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to do it with aerosol cans, show you that right now. Check it out. The first thing I'm going to do is jack up the car and take the wheels off. Then I can undo the brakes and take them off the car. Now the brakes are off, I'm going to take the pins out and remove the brake pads. Then I'm going to give them a good clean just to get rid of all the grime and brake dust. So these calipers were painted with a 1K paint from a spray can, so it's not going to be a good base to put any new paint on. So using some sandpaper, I'm going to remove as much of that paint off as I can because it can have a reaction with the new paint. I've masked up all the areas I don't want paint to get on and hung the calipers up. Now I'm ready to get my paint and start painting. I've gotten the candy brake caliper kit from VG Auto Paints and this comes with a 2K clear. Also comes with primers and the colors to create the candy color. I've also got a custom black pearl and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that later. So yeah, check it out. This kit is really good and gets an amazing finish. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I've cleaned the brakes with the wax and grease remover. Now I'm ready for step one, which is primer. Now this is an etch primer. It goes directly to metal and over a painted surface and it is great for brake calipers. It can also withstand quite a high heat. So this step is optional, but I'm spraying a black pearl because I want the Brembo logo to have a black pearl look. So that's down, now that that's all dry, I'm waiting about 20 minutes and I'm going to stick the Brembo stickers on the brakes. It sound right, boy. Now it's time for the silver base coat. The candy is see-through, so you need to put a base so that it covers the primer. This is a coarse silver metallic. So I've waited 10 minutes, now I'm going to spray the tangerine candy. Uh, you can use any candy color on this, basically this is the color I chose. I'm going to spray 3 coats, waiting 10 minutes between coats. Sound right, boy. Now that all the colors are down, I'm going to let it dry for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to peel the Brembo stickers off, and that's going to reveal that custom black pearl that I put down in the first place. Mm -hmm. 
So if you are painting brake calipers, I highly recommend using 2K Clear. Now this kit comes with 2K Clear in an aerosol can. All you need to do is attach the ring and pull this little lever. That activates the clear, basically mixes the two parts together. Then you're ready to paint. So I've noticed that the dust boots look a little bit worse for wear, so I'm going to replace them. Basically, it's pretty easy, you just need to remove the dust boot, then pull out the piston. Just using some levers, you can get that piston out. Then pull the old dust seal out as well, and you're ready to start putting the new parts in. Now the new dust seal goes in, and the dust boot, and it just gets pressed back into the caliper. Now I've got nice new dust seals, new boots, I've cleaned up all the extra bits, the pins and the plates and now I'm ready to install them back on. Before I put the calipers back on I've taken the rotors off the car because they're a bit rusty and just sorry looking so I'm going to paint them. Before I paint them I'm just going to remove as much of the rust as I can. So I'm using this Deox C, it's a powder, basically you put it in a bucket of water and then soak your parts in it an hour, two hours, you can even leave them overnight and basically it treats the rust and can remove it and as you can see they're looking a lot better I'm going to put a little bit of tape around the area that I don't want paint to get on and then I'm going to give it a quick sand with a fine sanding sponge Now I'm going to use the Miracle Paint it's a rust preventative paint, it can be brushed or sprayed and it can go directly onto rust. So yeah, I can use it straight over this rust, I don't need to treat it. Basically I'm just going to thin it out a bit, put it in a spray gun and spray the brake rotor and um, yeah, it's going to be all nice and shiny and black. Now I want to get some paint into these little slotted areas on the brake rotor so I've just sprayed straight over the whole disc. Now after about 10 minutes I've got a rag with some multi-purpose thinners and I'm just going to wipe that black off the face of the rotor and the black inside the slots are going to stay there and uh, the, the rag is going to wipe off all that excess black. So I've left these dry overnight and I'm ready to put them back on the car. So this paint is rock hard, basically when it dries they say you can hit it with a hammer and it won't chip. So it's perfect for these brake rotors. Once the brakes are all on and attached and the brake lines are fixed, I'm just going to bleed the brakes starting with the furthest brake caliper away from the brake reservoir. Make sure I've got no air bubbles. I'll have the brakes bled and then I'll be ready to drive.
Well, there you go. I painted the brake calipers and the brake rotors. Um, with the calipers, I put the primer, colors, put the 2K clear on top, and uh, now it's an awesome glossy uh, 2K finish that's gonna last forever. I also painted the brake rotors. I used the Miracle Paint, which goes straight over rust and directly to metal, and it, that gives a nice, glossy, strong finish. So those rotors are never gonna rust again in those spots that I painted. So yeah, um, great, easy way to make your brake calipers look amazing. You can do it from home, um, in your shed. It's really easy, you don't need any special equipment. Uh, you can get these cans from VG Auto Paints, so check them out online or in the shop. And uh, yeah, get some awesome painted calipers just like that. Uh, well yeah, that's about it. And um, there's more videos to come on the Rexy, so hit subscribe, check them out. But now it's time to do some skids. See you later.